गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ सोशल लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर लेसन द वेस्ट एंड डेजर्ट इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडीड दैट वी हैव ए ह्यूज डेजर्ट टू द वेस्ट ऑफ द नॉर्थ एंड प्लेन कॉल ग्रेट इंडियन डेजर्ट और थार डेजर्ट एंड इट स्ट्रेचेस फ्रॉम अरावली to the border of pakistan and from run of kutch to the border of haryana run of kutch is a northern side of the gujarat it form a natural boundary between india and pakistan and world's 17th largest desert today we will study about land surface and climate of western desert so let's start with the land surface the great indian desert is partly rocky and partly sandy here and there we can see small hills of sand these sandy hills are called sand dunes when strong winds blow they carry the sand from one place to another the, the sand dunes keep changing places their shapes and size also keep changing so the desert comprises a very dry part and here it is wet partly rocky and partly sandy and the marusthal region in the west and semi desert region in the east with fewer sand hills of sand call sand dunes let me show you the picture of sand dune you can see the picture of sand dunes so what do you mean by sand dunes when strong wind blow they carry the sand from one place to another and form sand dunes in other word we can say it is a hill of loose sand built by strong wind or by the flow of water here some pictures of sand dunes are there and they keep changing their places they are not in a permanent places they keep changing and their shapes and size also changing according to the blow of wind now come to the climate the western desert is extremely hot in summer the days are so hot that it is difficult to move out and the nights are extremely cold in winter the days are warm but the nights are chilly it is because sand heats up quickly and also cools down quickly the western region has very little rainfall water here is very scarce there are only a few streams they usually remain dry they have water only when it rains as you know the desert means land covered with sand and you know that sand absorb heat very fast so the days are very hot and it is very difficult to come out at the day time and at the same time it cools down very quickly therefore nights are cold now in winter season when we are here cold that time the days are warm there and the nights are chilly because it heat ups and cools down quickly and the western region has very little rainfall earlier also we studied that there is very little water and very little plants were there trees were there so and so therefore they have water only when it rains they mostly they usually remain dry So that's all for today. Thank you.